Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to start this video off by saying hello to all the new subscribers. Uh, it really does help out the channel, so I'm just new to YouTube, so slowly growing. So every subscriber counts, so just hi and welcome. And another thing that helps is hitting the like button, so if you're going to be watching this video, can you take a second and hit the like button? Now that that's out of the way, I just want to give a quick update about what's been going on at the cab in the last week and a half or two weeks. It's been nothing but rain. It's pretty much this summer, I think, has been the wettest summer on record. It's been just rain and rain and rain, so I haven't been able to video a whole lot. But I have been up here and I've been working, so I'll show you what I've gotten done in the last little bit and what I'm going to do today. So one exciting thing is I've got my solar batteries up here. So they are ready to go in. Which brings me to what I'll be doing today. This is what I've gotten done in the last week and a half is finished framing the mechanical room, got the roof on, and then my brother and I sided this back wall. It just needs to be stained, it hasn't been stained yet, but. It is complete, and then we'll go in here. There's some insulation. I gotta get in here and insulate the ceiling, and then vapor barrier all the walls. And once that is done, that's what I'm gonna be working on today, is getting this insulation finished and polyed, and then I can mount the inverter on the wall. And once I get the inverter mounted, I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna put it. And I'll get that mounted, and then I need to build the insulated box for the batteries and have the box vented outside just because they off gas. So I'm gonna get the insulation done today and get the inverter mounted today. So I'll make sure to set that up, uh, get that on video. It's going to be a nice day, so it doesn't look like I'm going to have to worry about the rain at all. The fireweed has started to bloom around the cabin. You want to get to work, Odin? Let's go get to work. I don't know if you guys can even see me in here, but I got to just get some of this insulation up in the ceiling so it's out of the way in here and then I can start polying. Something you, I don't think any of you guys know about me is I, Right after high school, I went into construction work and I was a fiberglass insulator. So I insulated every day, that was my job. I insulated residential homes, I insulated commercial buildings. So I did that for 14 years. So this is just like being back at work. remember why I don't miss it.
I'm using some gross used poly or reusing it. So like everything else on the cabin, I've been trying to do it as budget friendly as possible. So that's why I am using this poly. It was, uh, I used it on a greenhouse before and I took it down. It didn't have too many holes in it so I thought I'd save it and reuse it wherever I needed it so I should have enough uh, spare pieces that I should be able to piece it all together in here and get the ceiling and walls all polyed but for now I've gotten this half done and this is over in this corner here is where I'm going to be mounting the inverter and then putting the battery box down on the floor Okay, just two more bats to go, and then I'm going to finish polying the ceiling, and I'm going to have to go grab another piece of poly to finish the walls, but at least I got the corner done that I need to mount the inverter in. This is some more budget poly I'm gonna put up. Would have been a lot nicer using new stuff because this stuff's dirty, but this was free. So I need a six foot by eight foot piece of poly to finish off. I'm gonna have to get some bleach and a rag and come and wipe down all this poly because I don't want to look at all this dirt. All right, so I got it cleaned up in here, so I'm just gonna finish off. I had to cut a new piece of poly for this, so well, that's okay, it's only a short chunk. Got this last little bit of poly stapled up and then I'm going to have to get that inverter and figure out what I'm going to have to do to mount it. I'm going to have to probably put some sort of wood backing behind it and then mount it in that corner. It's not super heavy. I think it's 50 pounds so it's not going to be that difficult to mount but I gotta make sure I pick the right spot and then also leave room for the battery box. So let's just get this finished quickly. It's been four years since I quit insulating, quit the construction trade, and it wasn't, I didn't quit just because I was tired of it, I quit because I was uh, in a car accident one day going to work. Someone hit me on the highway, and it basically forced me into uh, retiring from construction. I could no longer 
do it, but I don't regret it or because now that I'm out of construction, I can see that it was probably by the time I was 40, I wasn't going to be able to be walking because it's a hard work and it's, it's a labor intensive job. So I don't miss it. Anytime I have to insulate, it brings back memories of working and I realize that I'm glad I'm no longer insulating. And really if I had never, if the person had never hit me, I probably would not have looked for a cheaper way of living and I wouldn't have moved up into northern Canada. So all of this probably happened because of the car accident. So I can't be too sad about it. All right, insulating is done. All right, so I cut a couple two by sixes. I'm gonna screw up on the wall, which I'm gonna mount this inverter to. I'm not gonna go too high just because the longer you have to run your cables, the more that there's a loss. Now I just gotta measure and see how far down the lower hole is from the upper. It's probably in the manual. So I know exactly. I'll read the manual for once. Now I gotta mark eight inches over so I know where to. Now, hold this up here. <sighs> so we'll do that. use some thicker screws to mount to this.
I got one more screw that mounts here once I take this cover off. So there we go. Inverter is mounted. Next thing for the solar is going to be building a battery box and getting that installed and vented outside and then I will have to start wiring stuff. I'm going to leave the entire wiring process for a, a new video. I'm going to do a video that's going to cover from the panels. I'm going to cover doing the up the solar panel wires and making the MC4 connections, running it down, coming into the shed, connecting up to the inverter, then wiring the uh, batteries in series and connecting them to the inverter, and then wiring the inverter into the cabin panel. So that's all going to be one single video. But I just wanted to video this, getting this installed and getting the mechanical room insulated and polyed and ready to go. So make sure if you're wanting to see, if you're thinking about setting up a solar system or you're wanting to learn how to do the wiring, click subscribe and you'll see a video coming soon of me doing it and I'll walk you through it. It's not that difficult. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, it really helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, then make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.